love having guests walk in my studio and this morning it's quite quite pleasant because I've got a, a young man with me he's 12 years old and as I was telling you before there was an article written that was written but it was also featured in Central Beat magazine the dangers of social media among our youth what really caught my attention was that this was a well-written article and was put out by a 12 year old and it makes a lot of sense because if you're talking about social media you're talking about the youth you might as well get to the youths and who is better than a 12 year old to talk about the effects of social media these days so he's with us here in the studio and i'm going to take you over to saifadi mohammed good morning my yes. friend yeah good morning okay so you ever been on radio before no all right great so it's the first time for you and it's the first time for me meeting with you but before we get into the article mm -hmm. um i see that you are a youtuber yeah Okay, and uh, wildlife, you're interested in wildlife? Yeah. So that's your aim, wildlife conservationist? Yes. Okay, so tell me about your YouTube experience. What is, what is it all about? Well, mostly on YouTube, I post videos of, of snakes and other creatures that I find and stuff. And I, like, I make videos and, like, normally just one animal in every video where I... But and well, I say some so some facts and information about the animal, and usually I'll show the release of the animal afterwards. Or sometimes I do I do keep the animals, but usually I release them after a few days. But why why did you want to go on YouTube to get this to to show this? Well, personally, I I watch YouTube a lot because there are a lot of good YouTubers, and I like fishing, and there are a lot of and it's a big fishing community on YouTube. So I watch YouTube a lot. So I thinking. If these YouTubers could do it, why can't I do it? So I started making my own videos on, on animals because that's my passion. And and basically, like, a lot of people watch my videos. Well, not a lot because I only get probably like 500 views on a video. Well, that's a lot. That's still a lot. Yeah. Wait, wait, how long have you been up on YouTube? About a year. I, I say about a year. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so you engage with other Actually, YouTubers? Actually, maybe. Maybe, like... Yeah, maybe less than a year, no. And, and no, I don't really talk with other YouTubers. Okay, but I'm pretty sure they're going to see your material and you might inspire somebody yeah. else, just like you were inspired. So you like fishing? Yeah. Okay, so where do you go to fish? Well, I well I sometimes go on the beach, sometimes I go on fishing trips sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so you collect animals, you, you just catch them? Yeah, I catch them. And you keep some as pets? Yeah, sometimes. What do you have as pets? Well, I have a few snakes. I usually release them, and I, I, um, I have license for a few of them too. I have, yeah, for a few of them. Yeah, I have two cat-eyed snakes, a water snake, a small fault girl snake, and a tree line snake. But you're not scared at all. No. But should we be scared? Should we? Well, we shouldn't be scared. No, we shouldn't be scared of creatures. Right? No. But no. wh wh why do you think that? Because, like, a creature is only going to attack you if it feels threatened, or say it's a lion or something, it may see you as, as a food source. Right? So, like, say a venomous snake, like, that snake is not going to bite you. A snake has never chased someone. A snake will not chase you. and But a snake in general, it, wouldn't, it will not bite you unless it feels threatened. Mm -hmm. So, let's say someone listening right now. And they encounter one in their yard or in yeah. their house. What should they do? They should probably call call someone. Um, they should probably call a professional person to come and take it, or they can call me because I, cause I, <laughs> I can take it. Yeah, they can call. They can call probably like the zoo. They can call wept. They can call. They can call those people. I, I would recommend to call the Elk School Wildlife Center because they are really good with animals. Okay. All right. So. You want to see yourself as a wildlife conservationist. Yeah. Uh, what 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 would you think the responsibilities uh, would be for that? Well, I would probably like, I probably start a breeding program, and I want to focus on herpetology, which is study of reptiles and amphibians. Now, I have seen, um, since I was since I was like three years old, compared to now, there are, are substantially there has been a substantial decrease in the number of reptiles around the country, right? Why so, is that? Mostly because of probably, like, snakes. People just usually just go and they kill snakes. They are scared of snakes. And, um, and 
I don't know why, but um, Bizandolis, most people know them as Zandoli, um, those lizards, I have, I don't see them very often anymore, and I'm not sure why that is, it may be because of diseases, maybe because of poisoning, uh, I'm not sure of the reason, but there has been a substantial decrease in them. Okay, so you want to protect yeah. them? Yeah, I would probably start a breeding program or something, and okay. just re- reintroduce them. And create an awareness program yeah. as well, so that people yeah. will not harm the creatures yeah. even more. Yeah. So then you probably get really incensed when you see animal cruelty or that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, what do you think Trinidad and Tobago should do on the whole, though, to protect its wildlife? Because it's well, under threat? I, well, I think, um, well, I am completely against the eating of whale meat. I don't eat whale meat, but I think that people still do go out and they catch whale meat outside um, outside the hunting season. And I think they should make more strict laws about, uh, about hunting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, how do you get people to abide by the laws? Well, it could probably be like a higher level of security, and it can be like forest patrols, and and um. So if they have people patrolling the forest, then the hunters wouldn't go in and be poaching the wildlife. Okay. Well, you are a very interesting young man. But we're going to take a little walk away from yeah. wildlife. Yeah. And we're going to talk about social media, because this was the article that was featured in the Central Beef magazine. So I'm going to come to you in just a bit. We're going to take in some commercials, and I'm going to come back to you. Saifuddin Mohammed, 12-year-old YouTuber, aspiring herpetologist and wildlife uh, conservationist. Yeah. There we go. And uh, he's he's on to us here at 103FM, but he's also going to talk about the dangers of social media. So that's coming up after these. Um, What's your plan for the vacation period? Well, I um um well, I'm going to probably catch a lot more snakes. I like adventuring and stuff. So, and I probably go on a major fishing trip too. So. Okay. Yeah. Is there a specific place that you really, really like to fish? Like, where's a good place? Let's say you're now starting to learn to fish. In a place where not much people go. Like. Like probably Shakashikari Island, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good place. Okay. All right. Thank you. Saifuddin Mohammed is 12 years old. He's at Presentation College in Shigwanis. We want to search you up on YouTube. What do we look for? Saifuddin's world. But if you type in Saifuddin world, you, you will get the results much better. What's the meaning of Saifuddin? Sword of defeat. I love it. Yeah, suits you. I love it. Okay, Saifuddin, thank you so much for coming by 103 FM. It was really, really nice having you, dude. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I, I wish you all the luck in your all your adventures, your snake catching. and Let's say, what, what do we do with frogs? I feed frogs to my snakes, and a lot of time I, I just catch them for fun. I can never see fun with frogs, but it suits you. It really does, okay? But thanks a lot, Saifuddin, for popping in. This is 103 FM, so you heard the guy. You put a limit on social media time with your kids. And those of you already engaged in that, good for you. It's 10.30 on the button. We've got so much more to share with you on 103 FM.